Okay, then. We go into map number three. It's going to be Mirage. Envy is starting on the T side. They have got four sets of armor, one utility player in the form of MBK. And the CTs now going to have three sets of armor themselves. Nothing too aggressive coming out from them just yet. The T's are holding back mm -hmm. for that initial CT aggression, but not going to come. Actually, you can well, see it is. It's coming, it is. It it's is coming down right. T slope. You always have to keep your eyes peeled on Taz. He is the man that likes to just push it out a little bit further. And he's pushed out far enough that he's got enough information that Envious aren't setting themselves up for an A move. That they do at least have that guy jumping down window now. So it's, uh, I think it's Neo who made that jump. Taz to take a little bit of chip damage on the way out. Yeah, well, you can see that Neo's going to be pushing through Palace as well towards the A side. So there's the first frag. He takes down Happy. That's the lurking player there. So here they come, though. Bialy. Silent yet deadly. The nade flies out to start where they won't see it. They're too busy with Pasha. And Bialy's able to claim two before he'll drop. This still will allow Envious two players on that B side as well as the bomb with them. But Virtus Pro are coming in not too quickly. They're being very, very patient, not giving up too much. Neo moving in now through Apartments, which is where Envious just vacated. And Taz, seven life only, but Neo's in the perfect position. Oh, he missed an opening shot over on Keo. He needs to finish the job. Actually, he'll have he'll have Snacks come in and help him out. Now MBK, he trapped himself inside of Kitchen. So VP have the side. They're doing the defuse as well. The one man with the kick gets the job done, and MBK will drop. VP taking the first round here on CTs. So really nice play there. The CTs normally do have to push one key point on the map. Just to get some information, we saw Taz do that onto the lower ramp on A. He pushed through, like you said, didn't get any uh, confrontation there, so he's able to give the call. Okay, guys, you can stay at B for now. Expect the B push. They came in, they found a couple of frags there, and they've got the lurker in terms of happy as well, top of middle. So, fantastic stuff from them, but it's not over yet. They're not out of the woods. Envious going for a force buy here. Full set piece on way. They've got the smokes. They've got the force buy, tech nine and armor as well. So, this round is really difficult to hold off. You can see the CT is getting nice and close here. They are expecting it. This is really nice from VP, actually. They are aware of what might be coming to the water. And they're here with so much spam as well. Like, okay, Apex, they're at least able to get through. Taz, they should find more. They get through and take out Snacks as well. This is really problematic for Virtus Pro. They have to start the rotation. Maybe that MP7 spray from Bialy is able to find at least Keo, but there's a lot more envious players on this side. They got that P90 now in the hands of Happy too. Neo needs that initial pick, looking over towards Tetris. Looks away at the wrong time. Now he gets the information. As it's Apex playing that Tetris side, they're lining themselves up a little bit easier, but now out from Firebox, MPK. Now he makes his play, but Neo can't finish the job and happy in MBK. They do the work and the buy. It is worth it. They made to take back the second round. Mirage definitely is one of these maps where you do do the Tech 9 buy with the smokes. It's so hard to hold off. You see VP trying to react to it, getting close up with the P90s, but it was just too much. The flash execution from MVS is really impressive. You see there, CT's having a real tough time actually getting any sort of info there, but they will force by into themselves to get the scout on Neo. He did great work with this on train. Can he replicate that success here as the T's go a much more passive setup this time? Snacks pushing up onto lower ramp though. MBK just waiting for him as well, seeing if he can uh, ascertain what may be being presented to him this round. Uh, but nothing's being presented just yet. Snacks. How oh, happy he's actually. There. He's almost going to get careful. Like they could flank into that A side very, very easily. Now that rotation's coming back as Taz is coming in. Kyo's already managed to get that kill on Neo. And now happy as well. The early fries coming the way of Envious. Taz can't do any work with the Deagle. There's only one revenge kill that came out from Bialy. And for that, he's managed to grab himself an AK, so that's not too bad. Well, so they've got the AK in the scout. If they want to say this for the next round, they could do so. Yeah, that's really much the only option they have here. Like, well, the bomb's going to be going down very shortly. They've got control of the A bomb side. They're not going to be taking any risks here. They want to make sure they clean it out properly before they send the bomb into that situation. So you can see the, the recon players there just working out what's going on. Yali, like I said, has got the AK in hand. He gets a headshot. That actually handles the situation pretty, pretty well as he takes down Kenny S, but they've got the idea as to where the players are lying now. Mm -hmm. He dropped down to 13 life, he has still had the audacity to peak twice. The, co well. the confidence that, that only comes from a VP player. And the headline is here is that Envious do get the second round in a row. And the analyst desk will talk about it all day long. The, the force buys from Envious. Like, it's one of the things as a, like a vanilla CS player, I would say, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. You want to play the percentages, make sure you have the guns. But uh -huh. these guys, the percentages, you can't really base it on, on general CS. You have to have to kind of think of these guys. They are so strong individually, they can make those guns work for them. And now they get themselves in a great position, going up 2-1 on the terrorist side of Mirage. And, uh, this is how they got such a strong side in Inferno as well. So let's see if they can carry on this momentum here. The guns are safe for VP, so they get the AK and the scouts. So they'll be very useful going into this next round. But look at Kenny. Yes, he just absolutely loves this. You can have your scout. He's going to upgrade it and go for an AWP. Okay. 
That's interesting. Well, I guess they know that there's some guns are saved there, so this is actually a decent investment. They can slow the pace right down again, wait for that initial aggressive push from the CTs, and then Kenny S can just start dissecting the map at that stage. Look how fast he moves too. If he gets this initial pick off on the car player on B side, this is really going to limit the movement of B. And in oh. fact, oh, Pasha! He's the man with the jumping scout that takes out Kenny S. And Kyo's not quite sure he can regain that AWP. Okay, that's a really big pick because normally that was so much more viable before the hitboxes were fixed. Now they are. That should have favored Kenny S, but that's dropped from Pasha. <laughs> what the hell? Takes down the AWP player. Happy trying to respond now, and he does as well. Takes down Taz on the A bomb side. Maybe to get two here, but just falls back safely. And that's uh, good work from him as Snacks tries to respond as well. MBK gets the second kill onto the A site. And now Neo getting himself in a pretty favorable situation there now. And uh, Neo able to find one. He's running out of bullets, though. Switching over towards the knives and can't actually get the kill. Pasha, however, able to find another frag getting into happy so he hasn't managed to regain that off which was dropped but Bialy from range with the AK it's all up to Keo and this heavy investment Keo is the man who's holding on to this off for now but this is not a safe round he's got the bomb but the question is can he plant the A site and the answer is no Pasha wow. going absolutely huge three in the round the initial frag on the very aggressive orping move of Kenny S and then finishing it up that was really crazy. Like that first frag just really summed it up. You saw the, the terrorist team get really rattled by that, probably questioning what the hell just happened. How did Pasha get that shot onto me? But there he goes. That's the first pick that started the crumble of the terrorist side down, and VP get themselves back into the series. 2-2 now. And you can see the buy still is going to be there. Before NBA is not so strong this time. Apex could be on the Tech 9. They have got full smoke, so we saw the AXQ coming in last time, but now Kiyoshima is going through underpass. Snack's going to be aware of this, though. He's going to be the first vision of the terrorist team he actually managed to get that frag he should get answered back here though gets taken down and envious actually find two frags of their own now it's a three on three Bialy taking down apex bombs down towards middle but you see the t's have got control of connector but taz actually takes that away from them yeah taz with the crossfire he's got keeping the t slope player which is happy at bay but mbk this is going huge on the other side of the map the bomb is still lost to connector and this is the problem taz having to be caught in the middle of a reload Gets out the safety, now he goes to the shutdown. MBK finally being dropped, but happy on one HP. That's all he's got in the bag right now. He's got 77 armor to go with that, but that's not gonna help him. But Taz is on seven. It is, it is the mortally wounded at the moment, battling against each other in the last 38 seconds. Let's see what Taz can do with this. I'm not sure he is aware he has to control the bomb. Making his way on to short now. Happy, gonna find perfect timing as he makes his way to CT spawn. He's only got 30 seconds now. So he's putting himself in a difficult position. He has to go and retrieve that bomb, and you can see he's realized that now. 20 seconds remain, and now he, Taz has got full control of this situation. It's his to, his to lose. Easy to work out how he can keep Happy away from that bomb. That smoke should have worked out better for him. It's actually going to benefit Happy, but Taz through the smoke gets the third round on the board versus Pro, and what a clutch that was. It was such a huge round, and you can see how it's going to affect the economy of both teams. So that's really, really big. This is a chance now for BP to get some momentum built up mm -hmm. and sh to start to build that fortress we know they can bring on the CT side. It's going to be a very difficult prospect now for MVS to get into this one. They will be force buying once again. So CZs, Tech Nines, and they've got the full smokes, and you would assume they're going to do that set piece onto A with the smokes once again. So why not? It worked so well on the second round, so let's give it a go this time. A VP aren't really in the greatest position for this. They've got two players that can quickly rotate over towards the stairs, but they're not fully prepared. There's only one player, which is Taz, on the site. Well, but at the same time, he's got Molotovs and two flashes. So if they try and do this, they're going to be blind envious. In fact, Taz waiting it out just next to the firebox, but the rotation's over. Haven't worked just yet. Taz still laying in wait. He finally finds the kill. And it's a big one, too, over on the bomb carrier. A three-on-three -three situation. Happy, completely blind, made his way over towards the stairwell. Where the hell do they go from here? They've lost too many. Happy's the last man left alive. Actually down in jungle now. The Pasha. Well, he's not quite sure. He still thinks he's coming in from the side. The blinding does come in. He's spraying towards Connector, so he thinks that's where he came from. He was almost right. He did manage to connect a lot and happy through the wall. Will end up being brought down. So four rounds to two. Not bad for a, an execute into A like that. Oh, no, not bad at all. They would have been better if they got the bomb down, but getting three frags like that, and it was just Taz. We talked about him being the lone man on the bomb side, but he bought his time so well that he's hiding and waiting for the perfect time. He wanted to see until he actually had vision of the bomb before he showed his presence there, and he waited for it, got two kills, and uh, locked down that situation for BP. MBK is taking a while to move. Now he's only just moved, so 
Envious maybe a bit of debating about where they want to go because well, they started running towards B and then they switched back over to A. They can't really justify much of a buy this time. They can get Desert Eagles, but they haven't got any smoke grenades. All five players heading towards the A side. It's going to be four players in Palace actually here. So you'd assume they're going to wait at the end, get flashed over, and just try and force another bomb plant here. But it's a round you think they probably shouldn't be winning now. This time though, VP are in the right position. Like They, they pop up that flash as well. Taz going to get blinded. Can they charge down far enough? Neo's got a good crossfire happening as uh, Taz keeping T slip at bay, but can he as well as Apex? They find some openings. They haven't managed to regather any of these weapons yet as this little bit of crossfire still hasn't kicked in properly yet. They lose Bialy. Now Pasha is able to move up. There's one player left alive, Happy, sitting on the side. Pasha will see him and just tag him up. But it'll be Snacks that finishes the job. Five rounds at two, VP. Still not a very safe round for this them. This is it. They're actually turning out to be very expensive rounds for VP. That's a huge problem for them. Their money's not great. I don't think they can actually get an AWP. And the headline here is, is Kenny S has picked one up. And this is a great chance. And they know the CT economy is probably pretty rattled by those two eco rounds, taking three or four players every single time. But now, just waiting for that aggressive push here. This is what I was talking about. So VP going up middle. Taz leading the charge here. Probably going to get flashed up. And Kenny S waiting for him, though. Misses it. A rare miss from Kenny S. Doesn't actually land a shot. Now Taz going to find oh. that first frag and the bomb as he takes down Apex. Man, Apex almost looked like he was trying to get, get the kill, even, even if the first shot from Kenny S failed. And they were punished for it pretty heavily. Now Taz spraying through that smoke and flash. Couldn't see anything. And, well, Bialy might also be in a little bit more trouble. But Snacks moving in from the side. And with Bialy, they mop it up and happy again. The last man left alive for MVS. At least he's got 100 life and 100 armor this time around. But there's very little hope he can regain that bomb when it's stranded in mid. Absolutely. Three on one. Happy with full HP and time, but I really don't favor the situation. Just to touch on that, so VP went for that aggressive play I discussed in the, pre the match build-up. Kenny S was waiting for it as well, and he misses a pretty easy shot considering his skill level. Doesn't uh, land it and allows uh, the Frax to be exchanged there, and it all fell apart for Envious. There was a chance for them to get back into it, the player and underpass, but unfortunately the crossfire from Snacks saved his teammate and made it into this three on one situation. But 30 seconds still remain. There's a player on low HP on short, but Happy's not going to be aware of that just yet as he smokes off Connector. So he's worried more about Window. He moves through Connector and Pasha just sprays through. He got the call from Bialy that he moved into Connector, and then it's just a simple spray and pray. Well, here we go then. This is an interesting situation for Envious. We've seen them force buy into this game so many times, and it looks like they will be doing that once again. It's not going to be the best buy. They've got Gilos. And uh, only one smoke grenade as well. That's going to be a very difficult situation for them on a map like Mirage. They need to make sure they're actually getting into bomb sites very quickly and then together with the stuff flashbang they may have. That's one smoke going down. You assume they're going to try and get short control now. Smoke off towards mid and then try and get up very fast into that area. Let's see how this goes down for them. It's a very he he mid heavy presence from the CTs. As Taz goes down, there's Kiyoshima. That's going to need to make one hole inside the defense, but Bialy jumping back inside a connector. Apex trying to punish, but he's unable to do so. Bialy will end up taking out two. MBK has rotated up on cap, but Neo, okay, a little bit of a missed flash coming out from him, but either way, they're spraying again through it. This time it's going to be Pasha find the kill. Neo almost just a distraction play. Keo is still holding the mid and happy. He's that floater again. Yep. Trying to come up through T Soap, but Snacks is waiting for him. And the perfect time to actually duck away. Looks like Neo. Yep, there you go. Simple wrap up for VP. They only lose one round this time. And we are going to have a timeout here from Envious because things are yeah. starting to get away from them. Good call, I think. This is a difficult situation for them. The rounds they've won haven't been too convincing. I think it's been lost a pistol and then forced ball back into it. So that's that same story that happened on train, right? So their gun rounds so far have been uh, pretty much non-existent. They're actually not getting the frags. It seems like VP are definitely controlling the game so far. But... Definitely not out of it yet. It's only been 10 rounds down, or 9 rounds, going into the 10th, but Envious definitely need to change their mentality a little bit, I think. I think just to get uh, themselves in a favorable situation. We saw how that um, set piece on Tway has been working out for them. Like, they can get the bomb down with the, the pistols. Mm -hmm. Let's give that a go on the gun round, for example, and see what they can do with that. They seem to be careful they're doing it at the right time. VP have shown that they can push aggressively into the map. They want to make sure um, they actually push those CTs back first, gain control of the map first, and then they can go to something like a set piece on Tway. It's right now, the frags don't seem to be coming in their favor in terms of the actual uh, exchanges towards mid. It seems like Bialy, especially in their connector area, is going absolutely sick there yep. and finding two or three frags almost every single time. So they need to just kind of, the approach is fine. Dissect the map, work what the CTs are doing. And I'd like to see them go into that more set strategy. Okay. Okay, I'm still wondering what's going to happen once the orbs start to arrive. Well, this is it. Kenny that hasn't happened Kenny yet. has picked it up once, but it's had no little impact. Yeah, it was the one time was that like Taz, Taz pushing up yeah. through the mid, and, and then he didn't hit the shot and ended up 
like losing control of the top. Well, they read it perfectly, right? So yep. they, they thought, okay, watch out. We're going to get the AWP. Watch out for the CT aggression. He was actually in the, the strongest position he possibly could have been in. Can't really die in that situation. Yep. Gets a great clear shot, misses that one, and then allows, uh, once he misses that shot, the CTs then keep facing through smoke, take down a couple of frags, fall back, and it all kind of spirals out of control from there. But... There we go, the tactical pause coming in, like we mentioned before, this slows down the momentum VP may be gaining right now just to kind of cool it down mm -hmm. and work out. Let's have a nice, cool t chat as to what may be going on. So this is a quasi buy now. This isn't a force buy. This means you can get pistols and armor and a few grenades, and you still have around 2K in the bank, which is fine because you get in with the lost bonus they've gathered. They can justify this. And it's like the a set play once again. It's not going to be too smoke heavy. So we have one flashbang on Apex, and uh, the rest of the guys going through Palace right now. But Snack's in a very strong position to hold this one off. They want to make sure they... Deal all this with the flashman before they actually execute, but here we go then. He's gonna have to get that Molotov off, but already Taz dropping down. Snacks looking for that cro co cost from crossfire yeah. over as now, while well, the plan does go down, Envious with a great, great entrance. Okay. They've managed to take the site already. Well, there we go then. Somehow that's worked out for them, but it's not over yet. Pasha does take down Keo, and the retake is on. He drops the incendiary mm. onto the T player there in four fire boxes, that's and that's gonna be ironic. Wow, that's a great kill from him. Actually, may cause some more damage out of the other tiers we're in. Happy and Apex are so low right now. There's no more grenades, but there's the bullets from Bialy. Looking for that last player over on Sandwich, or two last players. One Sandwich, one Box, but that's going to be 7-3. Envious finally able to strike back here on their T-half. So they take the pause. They go into pretty much an eco round. They actually pistols and some body armor and a flashbang, mm -hmm. and somehow get into the bomb site with no frags exchange whatsoever. They get two first kills, but now this is where it gets really interesting, right? Because uh, VP goes into this dual orb setup. This is where Pasha will be anchoring towards B. Neil will be the more mobile orb. And as I say that, though, Bialy gets taken down by Apex. That headshot as he drops out of the mid window, and that's going to be a great <laughs> opening round, or great opening kill, I should say, to the terrorist side there. Wow, great choice shot. from Envious as well. They actually switched the orb over to him because they knew Apex had the quicker movement, and then they switched it straight back over to Kenny S. Now they've established control of mid. Yeah. It's a nice play from them, a good read. And that's the new hitbox is coming to fruition. Before that shot probably would have landed. And now we can see those kind of exciting plays actually work a little bit more. Neo answers back there, takes down MBK, takes it down to a 4-on-4 four four situation. Happy takes down Neo. So now the advantage goes back towards the T side. Yeah, but how long could they hold on to it? Pasha couldn't get the cross. They were running a double AWP here on VP, hoping to get that perfect like crossfire control from range. Now Taz is the man that has to grab up that AWP, sees the player running across, takes too long on the shot. And that now means the bomb plant's going to go down and they've lost control of CT stairs. Yep, now it's a very difficult retake of the CT. There's no kits in hand. AWP on the retake. He's going to upgrade that to an AK-47. And Happy in his great position making his way towards jungle as well. This could work out really well for them. That's, that's a quick flank too. He started this flank at the very, very start when they put the bomb down. Now with a grenade as well. Taz, not a healthy man, but he grabbed that AK, which one of the grenades which they threw on the site blew the AK over. And Taz is the last man left up. So he has to be able to find this initial kill. Finds it over on Apex. Needs a second one as well. Can he claim it? No, he cannot. Happy able to hold the line. And also hold on to that AWP at the end, and Envious now with back-to-back -back rounds. So Viali, congratulating Apex and his shot there towards middle. Like you referenced, here is the, the great spawn Apex actually got himself, gets the AWP, goes towards middle, and finds that aggressive play from Viali trying to get into underpass. He gets punished for that, and that's really what controlled the round. Once they got in that 5 and 4 situation, it really did fall apart from there, and now they're going to be on the full eco. So Envious coming to life now on this T side. After that pause, they managed to get two in a row. So that just goes to show it's a perfect... Uh, strategy really to do and actually slow down the pace of the game and they're actually venting the first leg shot there onto Viale should make their way to the B bomb site now. Yeah, grenade and flash is also doing some work but they haven't managed to get one of these players down yet for VP so when Kenny S jumps down with a tech nine not looking around behind him and that's where Biali can get a little bit of a revenge frag means the orb gets dropped and MBK is able to regather it. Hello. There's Neo. Oh! Hello. Stab in the back shot in the face. And typical Neo stuff. Two players left him for Envious. Shadow Daggers in the back there. <laughs> I haven't seen much of those these games, but there we go. Straight in there. He takes down the bomb on it as well. So that's going to be decent money for Neo <laughs> going into the round. He's wondering, where the hell did you come from? That was great. So now he actually boosts his money so much, he gets the AWP. And now you'd assume VP, they, they had the right mentality to double up setup. I liked it. He's kind of threw it away with that aggressive play from Bialy, losing his first frags. Something a little bit more aggressive now. Snacks smokes deep into the A round this time. And look, this is the, this is the set player from I wanted to see more of this. And there we go. The punish coming in just over the top of the smoke. It's really clever from Snacks here. He's not done just yet. This is crazy. Why go for this? But why not when you can make that kind of frag happen for yourself? Five on three now. Superb stuff from Snacks there.
Crazy thing is Snacks doing it as well. Instead of actually seeing someone like Taz make the same play, the Snacks did it perfectly. Okay. Now, what are you now he up? had the audacity to pick three times, and that is like that's, twice is more than enough. That's too much. When you get two frags, you've been too GG. But now, now look at this situation: a three on three. And you're probably thinking, yeah, probably should have just fallen back there, but. I can see Taz now fancies a chance. This could work out for him if he just stays in that tight corner. Happy checking the corner, however, but Taz will win the gun battle. And Keo, he's a long way away from anything. He's hoping for some kind of rotation, but at the same time, Neo's watching the corner perfectly. Now, MBK able to get that initial kill over on Taz through the floorboards of a Palace. And tries to pop flash himself either in or out. At this point, he hasn't decided quite yet. He's sitting on the on the edge of the fence. Akio, perfect timing away for Bialy to rotate. Now it's a two-on-one. There's only one life over on Neon. One is not enough. Oh, I'm really upset with Snacks. That was uh, something. Once you, okay, CS, so yes, right? When you're trying to win the get rounds, I know it's like it's cool to get loads of flashy kills and do some impressive stuff by yourself. But when you push once like that and you get the first kill, fine, you can justify going again. But when you get two frags and there's so much on the line in this tournament, single elimination, you need to make sure every round counts. Yep. And he goes in for another kill there and gets taken down and actually gives Envious footing back into this game. And it's such a crucial round as well. Look at the economy for the CTs; it's broken once again. Happy opens up the Bialy. You can see the aggressive push from Pasha going to underpass. He gets taken down as well. Five on three. And I know that round was actually going to be huge in the context of the game. Mm -hmm. As you said, harming VP's economy. They can at least regather that gun that Happy dropped all the way up at top. But the chance of them being able to retake this site, in fact, they can't even regather the gun. A Apex is already here to make sure it does not happen. There we go then. 7-7. Seven, seven. Beginning of this half, it looked like VP were running away with this one a little bit, but... Envious fighting back now. Double up setup coming in as we go into round 15 here. Triple up setup for Envious. Interesting setup on uh, T side Mirage. Definitely unorthodox, I would say, as they leave. Oh, no, they're they're, they're throwing it down. They're so buying triple up and then having an extra AK yeah, in exactly. hand. So they can come back. They want to go for his initial picks, see if they can lock down any CT aggression. And that's going to come in the form of Snacks as well. Happy takes him down. Great opening frag here. And that puts him in a really strong position now. The CTs have to react to this. They can't allow themselves to get executed on by five players. So they need to work out where they can find a kill. And here's the reaction it's going to be Bayard. Pushing up middle from short, seeing what he can find here. And no terror is going to be waiting for him just yet, but it's going to be Kenny S at the top once again. And Will Bialy, dance with the devil here as he makes his way at the top of middle and gets shut down by Kenny S. Fantastic stuff from him. He hits a shot this time. Yep. Can't fall him twice. But Pasha still have a hold from the truck side, so they haven't been able to get it into B side. Neo with a great shot to Happy. Stopping the push out of Palace. There's still two T's moving to B side and one on T slope for A. As uh, Pasha, such a strong defender over on this B side. Taz is going to shut down MBK. So that leads it all up to Kenny S. A three on one situation. At least he's 196 and gets the initial shot onto Pasha. This opens up the B side, but reveals his position, and Neo will get the revenge and keeps VP with a one run advantage going into the second half. So after losing that first pick, they had to do something about it. The CTs couldn't allow themselves to get executed on. And that's the reaction we saw pushing up middle. And even though Kenny S did take him down, Pasha reacts and gets the two frags and then gets them back into this. So they win the half. I'd say they'd probably be a little bit disappointed that half, considering they got six rounds in a row and then it kind of fell away from them, mm. losing five straight rounds to Envious on the T side there. This game is definitely going to go all the way. It's going to be, could be another overtime on our hands, I think. Uh, if, if it is, it's one hell of a map to have it because it's not one of these maps too where you're going to get caught into one set play. There's so many options for you to run too, uh, especially with the aggression, which VP has been shown, but not as much as I thought they would. Mm. Like that mid play, once it, once it paid off once and Kenny S then read it, maybe they felt a little bit cautious about doing it again. Very past. We didn't see too much fast play from Envious there. I expected to see more traditional stuff and them like taking very fast mid control and going from there. But they actually were playing, like you said, just holding back really far. Kenny S holding for the CT aggression, and then they'd work their way into it. And fair play, getting seven rounds on the T side, that's absolutely fantastic. Once again, losing the pistol, getting the second round. That seems to be Envious' uh, <laughs> bread and butter here. Like, we've known him for the, the doing that the last six months, but it really is coming mm -hmm. into fruition this tournament. But here we go then. We go into the second half. VP on eight, Envious on seven. So it'll be the French side on the CT this time. You can see a four-man stack going towards the A bomb site. VP going towards three players in the palace area as well. They're going to have some confrontation. Oh. It's Kenny S gets taken down, and now the CT's reacting as well. Yeah, but that was so aggressively pushed down through T slope. It stopped the rotation in, but then again, they're getting sandwiched in. The CT defenders happy. Still over a firebox. There's only two players left alive. They no. haven't actually guessed it. He tagged it before, but they didn't really realize the position of it. Now they will, taking up the head of happy, and it's all up to MBK. He's got one Molotov as you throw it out and one flash left as well. 
But the bomb plan is already down. He's up against three players. Like our two VP prefer to have these uh, USPs in their hands. They've got two of them stolen from the hands of MVS. They're so deadly at long range here. The pixel precision headshot you can get with them. MBK doing everything he can. Has not got a kit, so he needs to work fast. He doesn't have any chance getting into this three on one, but he gets locked into Salmanjah and Bialy does take him down. So the CT stacking towards the correct bomb site there, but unfortunately the player towards Palace, he spots it up there. Three players is looking down at him. He gets taken down in the very fast execution coming in there. Happy towards the firebox is actually was a fantastic position there he actually got i think six shots off we got noticed unable to landing a headshot there yeah that could have been the difference maker unfortunately not able to replicate some magic we saw last week but now that's pro going for a very fast play oh it looked yeah. like they were going to now they've actually decided not to do that <laughs> interesting considering they're in the positional advantage here but especially considering envious has already stacked on the b side they're expecting a quick play from vp to come towards the b side so they make the play to a it then seemed, they back up to B and then they run back over to A. It seemed like the call for the fast eight came in and they just the last moment said, okay, wait, let's see if there's a stack for us. It's probably uh, a sensible decision. I think that is the right call. But the stack's now, rotating. Yeah. The, the smokes are coming in as well. And this is now where VP, they can take over the site because Envious is allowing them to do so. Apart from, uh, okay, well, that's a very aggressive push up here by Kenny S. So it's winning on the other side of the firebox. Partially gets the initial kill with that AK of his. Now the CZ. Kenny, yeah, that was never going to go well after he missed the initial kill. But at the same time, now Pasha just aggressively just mowing down Apex. And VP, they do take the round. They need to pick up this AK, which they're able to do so. But they lost a hell of a lot for that. They ran in with the Mac 10s, so they lose their, their, their semis at least. Well, the headline is they do get the 10th round on the board here. So now they can actually justify these two SMG guns, right? They know the CT. Oh, God, same. They do it though. again. Envious, like, this is crazy. Like, you, I'd say you definitely want to take an ego this time, but they're going in with the Force by Desert Eagle's armor. And they're going to be showing a little bit of mid aggression here. As Apex makes his way into underpass. Kenny is holding window. Going to be chucking down the smoke towards. As uh, Smacks makes his way up towards middle, they've got there the recon players now. They actually, wow, that's a hell of a shot from Apex. I was about to say the recon players can get into bomb sites and work out where Stacks may lie and giving away an SMG is not a huge deal. But now they're actually on the back foot here. Stacks makes his way up to connector and he actually takes quite a considerable amount of damage there. And yeah, this is when these bias from Envious can really pay off. But Verse Pro. They're slowing down a little bit more. Okay, there's your jump down. Reveals the fact that Kenny S is over in the window, and they do find that kill on Keo. Trying to hold from jungle, and Kenny has already backed himself up. He's almost all the way back in CT. And then BK is this floating defender, Pasha. So it's not actually Pasha, it's actually going to be Snacks going for the bomb plant. He comes out, there was no cover, Pasha was completely blind. And then it's just tip for tat trade-offs, all down to Bialy, who's going <laughs> to drop. Envious will take the round. They managed to salvage two AKs and a MAC-10 as well. Can you believe it? That plant, I'm not really sure why there was no cover coming in there. When you're planning in such an open position, you need to have the confidence your teammates actually be covering you. Yep. The fact that MBK could come from CT spawn and take the bomber down, not really get... It was, it was Pasha's position. Pasha was too far back over to the T-Slope if he was back over towards the site. But even then, the flashbang was perfect. So Pasha would have been blind no matter what. Crazy round there. We saw the, the force by coming in from Envious. A questionable one to say the least, but they make it work for themselves and get back into this. As we go into round number 19, the T's now definitely on the back foot. They didn't get the bomb down there. So Taz has got a decent amount of cash. The rest of the guys, though, not much to play of at all. This is interesting. Taz is going for the full buy here. So VP want a piece of the action as well. They want to have a a go with the four spies. They've got two scouts, and they have got smoke grenades as well. So CZs, Tech Nines, AKs, and scouts. And let's see who can be effective this time around. Looks like money doesn't even matter for <laughs> the initial kill. Wow. Kenny S yes, finding nothing but scout for Pasha. And Neo in return is able to work that scout in. So it's still one for one trade off. And the CT's getting a little bit spaced out. That's even better when Snacks can get the rotation of Happy. He'll smoke up the connector. Looks like Kyo also wants to do exactly the same thing. They both want to smoke up that rotation area. But Envious, they're committing. They're, they're bringing two of their la the remaining three defenders over towards B. Oh, wait, no. There's a thought. Actually, the bomb's going to be boosted up into the window, it seems, right now. It's getting control of mid. They have got a lot of time remaining, and they've got the, the man advantage here. So Kiyoshima locked into CT spawn. Can't really get into that position. He knows the team's maybe lying for him. But there we go. Finds the first frag and gets into a three on three situation. Taz goes down towards window, but they still have the bomb towards jungle as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, Apex is trying to get some info. So he's reacted, pushed into the A ramp, and has worked out where the team may lie. That's so valuable for him. Uh, where's Neo go from here? Maybe he can get a little bit of vision from Cat over towards the bomb site. Then he'll know what's happening. Keo, okay, he just scattered that VP just running out then. There's still only 30 seconds left on the clock, and they're just jumping around the windows. Now Keo comes to the spray. He only brings down snacks, however, losing his life to Bialy, and now it's a two on two. 
Apex, still that defender over on A. Hanging around Tetris, gonna see the players jump out. Goes for the first oh. fire, but doesn't win the gunfire. So Bialy, they're able to get control of the site, get that bomb plant down, and add another 30 seconds to the clock. There we go then, MBK, 2 on 1. Once again, hasn't got the kit, needs to act very fast. It's not gonna matter as Bialy shuts him down at the top of the steps there. Another great round from VP, and that's gonna actually knock the CTs onto an EK now. Yeah, that's, that's so big for VP as well. Like, not only are they rounds ahead, but now they've managed to cripple Envia, so it should be, <laughs> should be, it should be 12 rounds to eight at the end of this. Well, let's see, it's more of a quasi by this time. So, Kirishima will justify the head armor and Desert Eagle, but the rest of the guys are going to be buying a lot lighter into this one. They smoke up the top of mid, and you can see a semi stack coming in for the CTs there. They're going up to the palace, trying to gain that early intel. Happy, though. And now we can do work with this Desert Eagle. Going towards the window, looking for the boost coming in. But the smoke comes out, makes that redundant, so he's going to fall back towards the B-bomb side. Yeah. The snacks. They have control of mid. They don't see through the connector, however, and Keo's just going for these wild shots. Expecting someone to be pushing up through T-slope, but these two flankers, now Bialy's able to find them. Leads to flashbang so he can escape out, and in fact, it looks like Envious are already backing out. Coming back in through Palace. But because you're able to scout out two CT players aggressively pushing into T-spawn, you're able to just push into the B-side. Happy, well, he's at least able to bring down Snacks. MBK, the last man standing here, and he won't be standing anymore. It's up to now Kenny S as well as Kyo to retake the B-site where the bomb is now arriving. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys, because I think you probably want to be saving that Desert Eagle and Armor. So they'll be starting the CT spawn. Really nice pincer play from VP there. Getting control of Connector. That smoke they put down on the other side, right? It may seem like a, a questionable thing to do, but it's so good at actually just clearing that area out. You've taken the vision away from the CTs, and you know you can get up short safely. There's no way the Orpa can actually see through that. So that's a really nice play. And they got through to the CT spawn, boosted up window, pincer onto the B-bomb uh, B site, and that's a really clean round. And he dropped one frag so far in the form of Snacks. And he dropped down Neo as well here as he finds himself. And that setup not really working out for them, but Kyo's going to be the last one remaining. Three players going to be hunting him down. And he's actually quite a valuable scalp as well because he's got the body armor. Actually, his head armor, I should say. Mm -hmm. And there we go, 12 to 8. Let's see how the CT money actually coming lies. They could probably do another eco. I don't think they will. They've got two players on around 3k, so they will be buying into this. They'll have Famuses with potentially pistols. Let's see what they do with this. They've got the scouts on MBK. And that's probably a decent buy for them. Mirage is one of the maps that actually works out very well for him. And then AWP on Happy, too. Let's see where they go with this like one. He, he committed heavily. This is the glass cannon. Move from Happy. Kenny S will do his little bit of defense work on the, on the top of mid. And VP are thinking twice about it. Happy's managed to push all the way up with this glass cannon scout. Up onto Cat. Drops a little bit of chip damage from just a stray nade. Doesn't really look that confident in his position. They're about to have him run up. Cat finds one already over on Pasha. Keo. Maybe now they can lock him in. Happy is going to be dropped by, by Bialy. The Stax also reveals his positioning out. Jumping over the top of the boxes. Waiting for Keo to back it out through the stairs so he can shoot him over the top of the smoke. But it's just not going to come. Molotov actually throws it behind him and gets shot by Keo while doing so. Don't know if he was worried about the flank or not, but either way. It's down to a three on three. Kenny S brought down on that small little cat. And the CTs are rotating over. The Molotov is going to actually isolate the players. So Kyo running through the smoke onto the side, brings down Taz. Still two on two now. Make it two on one, make it one on one. As Apex is able to find that kill over on Neo. Bialy's still got a Molotov. He can slow this, this down, or he can just go straight for the shot. That bomb was in the middle of the open, so he decided to go for the, for the duel instead. And what a big round for VP now. 13 to eight, Envious. Shy of 3k on all players. This is the problem now. That force buy was so important for them to win. This time, not able to convert it to a victory. So they do have to take the eco here, and it's such a pivotal moment of the game as well. 13 to 8. One has to assume VP are going to take this round, considering. But let's see what Envious can bring to the table here. Kenny S getting himself up there in the window room. Keo going for that initial shot, but he's going to take Ooh. such an orc grenade there onto the head. Mm. It goes down to 17 HP, and let's see now if VP can capitalize on this situation. And they, if they can. They can push it closer, and as the analysts were saying, like, if Envious don't take this, it's going to be one of the hardest runs for them, because VP feel very comfortable on all these maps. So there could be a one-map advantage going the way of Virtus Pro and Apex. Well, Neo, it's just straight-up trade-off at the moment. Pasha jumping up into the ladder room. Happy's able to find the kill, but it's still into a three-on-three. -three. And where is that control coming in? It's definitely not in the A side, because that's where the bomb is, and they're going for the plan very much in the open, and plan it for CT stairs. Can also be working as well for uh, for Palace. They got great crossfire. Taz stopping Kenny S over on the stairwell. 
At least Molotov's keeping the CTs at bay. And Taz just, he's racking up the kills now. Yeah, absolutely. So he's just going to be happy now. <clears throat> Like I said before, they didn't really invest into this with the armor as such. So if he could just save his AK-47, that'd be great to help out the economy. He's been crippled so far for the envious side. But three players remaining for Virtus Pro. I'm going to make that such an easy option for them. As you can see, Snacks does find him there. And it takes him down. A nice clean headshot through the wall there. And now we go into round number 23. VP now in touching distance of turning to map points. They're, they're buying it out again. Kenny S with the AWP. Oh, they have to. Happy's time. also going to buy up the AWP. They're going to try and run a double AWP Triple. plus scout uh, play here for oh, yeah, MVS. MVS. So he's going to be going towards B potentially here. Yeah. So we're getting the jumping scout going towards B. We saw Pasha do that very successfully. Yep. And MBK known as one of the most deadliest scout players here. Let's see what he can do. And, uh, Happy Kenny S. Yeah, yes. aggressive play. Apex able to shut down the push, but then again, we'll lose his life for it. But oh, Kenny S loses the duel in mid. Bialy wins it with the AK. And Envious' defense is really starting to crumble. And this was so expensive for them. They cannot afford to lose this round. They can have very little left to try and contest for match point if VP can take this. Well, I've got three players remaining. So this is scout play from MBK. And the problem is here, they still have four Molotovs here and the smoke grenade. So if they can smoke off CT spawn, that'd be absolutely ideal for them. That locks happy out of the game. Let's see how they approach this one. Three players heading towards the lower ramp here. Where's that smoke gonna go? Do they smoke out Happy? They're, they're going very, very slow here. And that's going to allow Happy to get the initial kill on Bialy. They didn't want to throw the smoke out from the very, very start. Now Happy looking for the second hit. He cannot connect, however. So VP, they're onto the site. They're pushing Happy out. The Molotov locking him in with the ticket booth. He has to jump over the top and down on three HP. He's able to escape out of there. And in fact, Envious has let Keo do the work. VP, wow. they may have got to the site, but they could not control it. Well, this is the thing. Like, they had that smoke, and we were saying, obviously, it's easier to say, oh, you need to smoke a happy towards CT spawn, but just going and facing that angle was pretty questionable. Briali gets taken down. Happy then taking all the attention away from the T side, and Kiyoshima able to clear up with that control he had from jungle. So, that's another lifeline for MBS here. Hasn't got to map point just yet, but VP buying back into this one. This is a force buy from them. Neo with the scout and no head armor. You can see them coming in for a little pause as well. Oh, wait. We have we have a stop. Okay. So we're going to restart the round. What was the problem would be the question. I'm not too sure, but let's see how this one goes down. Let's see if they change their bio tool. Maybe they wanted to... No, so they're still moving in the same, same setup here. So Neo on the scout, you would assume. And we're back into it now. So... Yep. MBK is still going to be rolling with the scout towards B. And then uh, Neo will be wielding one as well. So let's see what goes down. He's going to be making his way towards middle. Kenny S back towards mid. He's not actually the on the AWP this time. He's controlling this with the rifle. Just some decent damage on the Pasha there. Spraying through the smoke and landing a grenade as well. It's going to do decent work for him. Snacks is going towards underpass there, trying to clear it out. Now then, smoking off towards jungle. And this T side just getting this mid control locked in. Neo going to be the anger here, top of middle with the scout play there. Trying to make it so they got some cover fire to get in. Bialy's already able to punch a hole into that defense. And there's a lot of MBS getting caught up in the mid. They're trying to play around window. Keo on the stairs. They walk through it. And, well, okay. Neo finds the kill with the scout. But the initial spray comes in from his teammates. Partial to cleaning up window. And this is a quick round for VP. This is going to be a difficult one for Envious to lose as well. They're not going to get much in terms of money next round. Definitely crippled here. 15 for 9. And this puts VP in a very strong position indeed as we go into round number 25. And look at the money there. Around $1,800 average, I'd say, for the CT team. That's the one on the one. The round before, not actually survive. And no CT players surviving whatsoever. So money very difficult right now so mm -hmm. obviously they will have to buy those pistols and armor and see what they can do they will be choosing to send a player towards underpass bomb left towards t-spawn though for the terrorist side they're just going to be working out what the cts are presenting to them it's going to be apex working his way up there the smoke goes off to his middle and there comes oh. the frag this should be it now that's that's the big picks that's what's going to basically spread out an already under armed force of cts and Apex, well, he gets an opening coming in from behind, and he is able to get the win on the duel with Neo. But beyond that, it's all up to MBK as well as Happy. 
They did manage to at least bring this to a three on two, but they haven't managed to recover any of the guns. So they have to still to use these pistols to get in close. A lot of flashes. Bialy and Taz trying to play from the high ground. Now Bialy comes in from behind. They need, don't know where Happy is. Now they do. He only finds one. Needs a second headshot. He's able to claim it. Can't get the third, however. The map will go to Virtus Pro. 16 to 9, giving them a one map advantage here in this best of five. I expected the CT side to be the really formidable one, but they've turned up on the T side once again. 8 for 2 to close things out. That was really strong. 